A lot of dental offices, including mine, have a lot of open space around the front desk. As you see in the supermarkets, sneeze guards, barriers, all kinds of things are being set up. So we also have to have custom barriers made up front to make the patients um, keep them safe and keep the staff safe. No more magazines, no more refreshments, anything like that. The waiting room is not for waiting anymore. Since the pandemic, um, we had to purchase a whole lot of PPE equipment and here this is not our normal everyday outfits that we wear. It was very expensive. Uh, overhead was high before, it's even higher now. Um, trying to get PPE, uh, personal protective equipment, has been tough also. I, most of it is allocated to the hospital so it has driven the price like crazy also. So cost is huge and we're trying not to increase our prices. Try to keep them the same but the cost is going up. We'll take their temperature, uh, we have a pulse oximeter too to also check their uh, blood oxygen level. Um, prior to that, there's also a pre-screening um, form that we ask them to fill out or we'll go over the phone with them prior to the appointment to just screen them because I think the most important thing is keeping the virus off premises. Um, and then we'll go through the procedure. We have hand sanitizer all throughout the office, almost everywhere. To help air purification, we have um, air purification units here. So we are uh, fogging the offices also with a mister. Um, so we're pretty much doing as much as we can with what we know right now to keep everybody safe, uh, keep the premises disease free, um, and hopefully still provide an enjoyable dental visit. definitely have risk anywhere you go and here because you're working in somebody's mouth you know saliva is going to be you know you have a risk of getting it um, that's why we really try to have how many barriers a lot of it is trust the trust that they have in their doctor or their operator or whoever it is that you trust that they're doing everything they can to keep you safe good health good hygiene is really important now um, in case you do get the virus you want to be at your your healthiest and I think oral hygiene, all that, you know, your oral health care is very important. So now people want to get better, they want to get healthy, they're doing things to just be stronger, you know, help their immune system be up. And that's all we can do right now.